Continuing the CSR Summer Tour 2016 all around Pittsburgh, we are at the pub at Tony Dale in Oakdale, PA. Independent professional wrestler Ronell Hunt. Ooh, the Rev, man. He's locked and loaded with his mic. Justin LeVar here as we are continuing the weekend on in the month of June as we build towards Money in the Bank, a card that is just getting stacked by yes. the week. Yes. And a match that we're going to talk about here in this segment, Ronell, AJ Styles versus John Cena. Yes. And quite the simple question is, is this match going to outshine the Money in the Bank briefcase match? Is it going to outshine the title match between the returning Rollins and Roman Reigns? Is this going to steal the whole show? You know what? Let me just tell you this, Justin. If I was a wrestler that's booked on the same pay-per-view, I would be absolutely scared to have a match. Because next thing you can know, I truly believe this is going to be the biggest match. It's going to outdo the ladder match. It's going to outdo any other title match. This is a match that people have been wanting to see before Styles was even in WWE. When John Cena first made it on the scene, you started hearing about Styles in Japan and everywhere else. Now it's finally come we've seen it build up in, in Monday Night Raw we've seen it build up in a promo AJ Styles thinks that he has John Cena's number John Cena's like hey I have nothing to lose this is a battle heads are going to clash forget about the club forget about anybody else this is the match of the night the ref has spoken man it's the match you know a little more than a week ago I would have said this is going to be a really exciting match but no it's not going to outshine but I'll tell you what after the business that was accomplished in that promo on Raw last week I always say, art imitating life, or when fans think that real shots were took, yeah. or when the fans think that something they say on the internet is, is now being pulled into the storylines, yeah. when all that happens, you just grab the attention that much more, and they did that. From the comments of John Cena, you bury guys like me, from John Cena saying, AJ Styles, you're the big man, you come in here, you couldn't even get past Roman Reigns, you're yeah. trying to pick a fight with me. Yeah. I mean, taking so many shots, and let's not kid yourself, that's the beauty of it is when they make you go, is that a work or not? That's when you're doing the job. It's a work, but it's a beautiful work. They got, they pulled every, they had everybody hook, line, and sinker with every single stereotype or message board thread title. Yeah. And at this point right now, given the athletic ability of both those guys, don't give me this BS of John Cena's only got five moves. John Cena and AJ Styles. I think this will steal the show. You know what? It's almost like before You might this, as well put it on last because it, nobody's going to Make it the main event. Everybody just wants to sit by the monitor. Make it. And just watch. <laughs> Nobody wants to have to go yeah. out and do a match after. You know, you know what I would say? It's almost like the promo was so good. It was so personal and everything that you would think that they did exactly what you thought. That they went on online. They looked at the list. Hmm, what are the comments <laughs> that people are saying? And let's somehow add in a promo. As a wrestler, you live Rev, lift, lift like your this. mic up. Lift your mic up, you, Rev. Is, is this better for you, Jack? You live <laughs> for moments like this. That's copyright infringement. Oh, man. Hey, good thing we're all Russell Sell. But check this out, man. The thing is, the promo, it makes you step out of the, the normal comfort zone. It makes you get into a mind to where, is this really happening? When you have fans like that, when you have the Internet Wrestling Society like that, you know that you're doing your job. Forget about the match. The promo is what, is what builds the match and makes it believable. You have nothing to build a match? Why do people care about the story that you're telling? You're absolutely right. And this is, cherish this, and I mean this sincerely, cherish this match because, you know, for the longest time it was Flair and Hogan. And you eventually got in WCW. You know, then for a while it was, you know, uh, you know, Shawn Michaels Sting and Austin Goldberg and, you know, a lot of dream matchups that maybe we've gotten some variation of teasing since all the companies have been balled up. But John Cena and AJ Styles might be the last of a dying landscape. The more and more time goes on, we see WWE working with everybody. Yeah. We see WWE starting to work with everybody, and it's coming to a point to where seeing somebody who's been everywhere else but WWE like AJ Styles and seeing somebody who's been the flag bearer for WWE and John Cena finally collide. I don't know how many other opportunities in the next two decades Ooh. are going to become available to that height. Yes. How many more John Cena's are you ever going to get? How many more guys of AJ St uh, Styles statue are you going to get yeah. that don't get the WWE after 15 years? You know, I so cherish this because this is history. My thing is right now, and make this quick, when you look at it, John Cena has been in the game for, uh, what is it, about 10, 11 years, I believe 2000, 2005 or so, when he, deb when he yeah. debuted with Kurt Angle. When you look at the now, look at the now, 03, I still yeah. think that John Cena, what, 03, 04 or so? I found the ruthless aggression, and then he fought at, he, at 04, he's at WrestleMania, it's big show, so 03, 02, 03. Exactly. You're not looking at a guy that right now is a WWE legend. I still feel that Cena is in his prime with his work, but evidently, if he 
he has been in the game for this long with being in the era that we're in right now, evidently he's doing something right. And this is a match that John Cena is not going to want to make an upset. I don't think he's ever upset me a day in his matches. This is putting over. If you think that you liked Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles, you have not <laughs> seen nothing yet. And John Cena told AJ just that. Who's going to win the match? Next week, there'll be no chair shot in this format, but go to Rena at Renel Hunt 7, at Justin Labar, at Josh Over 4. We will give our individual predictions on our Twitter accounts of who's going to win some of the marquee matches. WrestleRumble.com went up to $1,000, as well as a custom Money in the Bank briefcase for predicting the correct winners. Woo! All you got to do is pay 10 bucks, make some predictions, you can win $1,000. That's silly, ridiculous, easy, and fun. Do it! WrestleRumble.com. Polls open this week at Renell Health 7, yes. at Justin LeVar. We got more CSR coming up. Shout out Byron Saxton.